girlfriend uh fucked a yoga instructor hey old billy bald tits how the fuck are you uh i'm writing you because i need some advice i just recently found out my girlfriend of two years has done some fucked up shit up until now i thought she was marriage material she's not like the kardashian wannabes of today she and i have so much in common we always laugh and i love hanging out with her no red lights no red flags you mean have been triggered until now uh she doesn't drink like crazy she doesn't take off her heels and walk home (laughs) she's not a quitter overall she's awesome but recently i found out from a mutual friend that before she met me she had a secret affair with her yoga instructor and that's not even the fucked up part the yoga instructor is also her best friend's dad what okay her best friend's dad and she never told her best friend oh my god so that yoga instructor fucked his daughter's best friend dude that is such yoga instructor behavior dude i'm telling you right now in another fucking life i would have been a yoga instructor dude those guys fucking crush it like nobody dude hot chicks they all fucking do yoga right because they want to stay in shape but they don't want to get all fucking bulked up they want to keep that sinewy type muscle right they want to be all tone but still look good in a fucking dress right so he's he, like the pied piper they just come to you and you get them all stretched out before you fuck them and then you can have your whole new agey blah 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 dude i am tell you right now take a yoga fucking class one time in your life and you know who the yoga instructor wants to bang It's the one they always go over and they adjust them and they put their hands on them, you know? You know what I mean? And they get the, the the woman gets to feel their fucking touch and they're all fucking open because they're fucking in this headspace. Like the whole, the the fucking vibe is, it's, it's a layup. You know, it's funny. I used to take this fucking yoga class and this guy was like crushing it. And for some reason, I was always doing the positions correctly. He never had to adjust me. But the fucking chick next to me who was already totally stretchy and could put her foot up her own goddamn clam, for some reason, he always had to fucking adjust her with their spaghetti straps. Huh? Fucking hilarious. Ah, you got to love a piece of shit yoga instructor. I I fucking, oh, they're such dirtbags. And the whole time, they're talking about all this new agey stuff, you know? Just be, man. You can't fight it, you know? Just fucking give in to my dick. Um, Anyways, he said they fucked for a few months before she met me and came clean to telling me uh, that it was true, but she regrets it. What the fuck do I do? I'm young. I'm only 22, but I feel like I have really found some someone in her. But I feel like I can't trust someone who would be that deceitful. Should I move on or assume something like this won't happen in the future? Thanks a million, and as always, go fuck yourself. Well, those are two really great questions. Um, you know, in defense of her, she's really young, and I'm assuming that fucking guy is at least in his 40s, and what he did was barely legal, you know? Dude, that guy fucking spit 20 years a game at her in a yoga class. I mean, it's a fucking layup. Um, But also, she did fuck a guy. She did fuck her friend's dad. So if she's the way that you say, well, she's this really wholesome, innocent type person, those people are also, you know, the kinds of people that end up in the trunk of serial killer's cars. I hate to say it because they are so fucking innocent and that type of shit. So, you know, this guy's basically Jason, except instead of an ax, he's using his dick. I mean, that's just fuck. I mean, that's fucking. Oh my God. I can't imagine doing that. I can't fucking, um, can you imagine Right after you bust a nut and you're, you're thinking clearly again what the fuck you just did. And you know women are so fucking emotional, right? Jesus Christ, like, and they just have to talk. You never rob a bank with a woman. I mean, you're caught before it's even started. 
And then you do something like that. And then I'm like, God, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. And she goes out and has a couple of fucking lady drinks. And the whole fucking town knows. Oh, my God. And then your daughter is going to hate you for life. Your marriage is fucking over. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Jeez, that guy, he might as well stuck his dick in a beehive. Son of a bitch got away with it because he's a fucking yoga instructor, man. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I would just really come clean to her and I would just sit down and say, listen, um, just tell her all these great things that you feel about her. But the, f- the fact that she did it, did that, you just need to talk about it more. Like, just ask, walk her way through it. Like, why do you think you did that? Just don't accuse her. Don't be like, don't be having an accusatory tone. Don't be judging her, even though you are. Um, I think the jury's still out on that because she's so fucking young and that piece of shit is so fucking old. Um, he really took advantage of her. I don't give, I know it's fucking legal, but to me, in my head, like, yeah, you're a fucking pervert if you do something like that. Yeah, I'm judging the guy. I mean, she was 21, 22 when he did it, but that, 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 that's not fucking right. That's that's not fucking right, you know. Um, Jesus fucking Christ! I've seen pornos with a more wholesome storyline than that, you know. Um, no, I would just ask her about it, and just why do you, why do you do that? Why did you do that? Why why do you think that you did it? I would help her get through it in a therapy way, and just by her answers, if uh, you know, if that's like what she's into then I would have some concerns that she would act out again. Um, I don't know. I would, I, but, I, but if you love her, you really got to sit down in a non-judgmental way. And by the way, dude, you're telling me you haven't stuck your dick in some place that would give her a little, some fucking red flags? You never did anything filthy? You know? I mean, I'm assuming you did. Why don't you be fair and kind of it's this weird thing where, like, you should be, before you marry somebody, you sh- you, you have to, you got to judge them. You don't just walk into it blindly. You're agreeing to spend your life with somebody. You, you got to judge them harshly. But um, if she already feels bad about it. You know, you don't want to hurt her. But uh, there's, there's a way more of, like, a therapy kind of way you could just ask her, like, why, why do you think that you did that? And if she goes, well, why are you still asking me about it? Which she might, she might get defensive. I would just say... I, I don't know because I, it's it concerns me. That's a bad answer. What do you mean it concerns you? Don't judge me. Oh Jesus, dude, this is gonna be like dismantling a bomb. I just I mean it's a, a hell of a story. Like, how did you keep that a secret? How did you feel about that? She probably needed to get it off her fucking chest. I think the fact that she had to admit it to you. It shows that she's not a complete sociopath. You know? I don't know. Let me know how that one goes. I gave you the best advice I could.